Morgan with a bin answer here to show you how to make this full bow using two different ribbon tones for your next holiday party or gift package. The description below there will be written instructions on how you can do this as well as the supply list. So check that out below and let's get started. The supplies you'll need for this project are a pair of scissors, some chenille stems in coordinating colors, these are also known as pipe cleaners, and you'll need two ribbons. Uh, one, what I'm using here today are one and a half inch and a two and a half inch wired ribbon. Uh, this project works best if you have ribbon with wire in it versus just other ribbon. So you're going to start off by taking your ribbon and making a loop about five or six inches here. But the important thing is right where your thumb is, you're going to twist really tightly and make sure that wire has, is completely done a 180 and then hold that twist with your thumb. Now gather up the other side and loop it back. Make sure you keep your smaller ribbon on the outside of your turn. And if you fold up your two loops here, you can gauge whether they're the same size. Once you know that they're the same size, just continue this process, weaving back and forth with your smaller ribbon on the outside and twist in the center before going over to the other side. So this project requires 12 feet of both ribbons uh, to make this about 12 inch bow. You're going to continue going back and forth until you have six large loops, three on each side of your thumb, with the twist in the center there. Try and keep the, the ribbons untangled. Uh, it can be a little difficult with the spool. Uh, it might be easier if you actually cut your 12 feet first and then you don't have to worry about unspooling it every time. So now that you have your six loops, three on each side, you're going to make four more small loops. So doing it the exact same way, only don't make them quite as long as your bigger loops. I, I make them about two inches shorter than the first set. Use the same technique with that center twist. And this can be a little bit to hold, so it's you're using the pressure between your index finger and your thumb. Um, just try and keep that as tight as possible. You don't want it to unravel or get away from you. So check your small loops again. Make sure that they're even, just like you did with your large loops. And do this until you have four continuous loops of the smaller size. Once you have that, make that turn. You're going to make one loop that's uh, a little bit smaller, and this is going to be your center tuft. And just cross that over. You don't need to twist it here, and just hold that with your thumb. And then make sure you've got enough ribbon for your tails. So you have six large loops, four small loops, and then one center loop. Now take your coordinating chenille stem and poke it through that center hole. Hold it with your thumb, turn it over, and you're just going to tighten this on the back. Try and get this as tight as possible. This will keep the ribbons from shimmying away from you. And this chenille stem not only holds the ribbon in place, but it makes a great mounting place to attach your bow to other projects. So whether that's a wreath or a package, that's how you'll attach it is with that colored chenille stem. So go ahead and cut your tail. Um, I like an angle cut, and I'll just cut this first one, and then I'll come back and cut the other one in a moment. So now you have all of your loops, you want to spread them out in a flat circle and just kind of even them out all the way around. Don't worry about fluffing them at the moment. If they're a little flat or a little squished, don't worry about it. You just kind of want to get the placement correct here. Make sure your tails are turned over correctly and space out all of those bigger ones and then your smaller ones. So it should look something like this once you've got it flat. At this point you're going to start fluffing your ribbon and you want to make a nice curve here. Once you've added air to it, you're going to pull them apart and this is going to double up the amount of volume you have. So you can leave the green ribbon on top of the red, which gives you a unique look, but this gives you a lot of volume for the amount of ribbon you've got. So just work your way around the circle, fluffing and making those bigger and separating the two ribbons from each other. You can start with the outer rim or you can start with the inner circles, but at this point you're just making them all nice and round and giving the bow volume. Here we're doing it on to the center one, and then we'll start working our way around the last six. Continue opening and fluffing all the way around until you've got all of them large. At this point you're just going around and tweaking it until you're satisfied with the look of your bow. So just keep pulling them apart a little bit and spacing them around. 
go ahead and trim the tails until you're satisfied with the length. You can do them long or cut your tails short. For this project, it works really nice to have them short. And there you go, you have a finished bow. Thanks for following along. If you liked this project, check out the other videos on the channel to see if there's other projects that would work for you. If you like what you see, click the subscription box below. We'd love to have you as a follower on the channel, and don't miss out on the next awesome project. Thanks for watching. Bye.